Hello Bakers, today I'm going to show you how to get a real world life location inside Unreal 4. This is like part 2 of the massive open world map inside Unreal. There is quite a lot to cover, so let's start. First thing that we're gonna do is going to open topography. So from here, when we are grabbing a region, it's uh, actually allowing us to convert it to height field. And later on, we can use L3DT to convert everything to a height map. And then from there, we can already go and put everything inside Unreal and use it for our terrain. Now let's select some, some region. Uh, I'll just come and I think that we are going to pick something which is... Uh, Let's come here around Mont Blanc. It's, uh, there are some nice mountains and uh, also this river. So I think it will be interesting, some region of those. Uh, and the way that we do it, we click on a select a region. After that, we can draw. And this is gonna be the region that uh, it will create for us. Then we can scroll down. And here we can actually see approximately how many square kilometers uh, the region is. Remember that uh, inside Unreal we can put 20 by 20 kilometers. So at the moment I have selected 57 square kilometers. So we are in the safe zone and I'm going to scroll down. We don't need uh, this one. We don't need to uh, generate any hill shade. So I'm just going to turn it off. And to download uh, what we created, we need to put a request through the server. So here it's uh, how it's done. Uh, we need to put some job title. I'm just going to put tutorials and I'm going to put also tutorials here and I'll just put some email tutorials at gmail.com. It uh, doesn't require you to have like a real uh, email in here because uh, you're not going to download it through your email. So you can just uh, put some random one or something that uh, you don't really use as an email. And after that, we can click submit. And you can see here that at the moment it's uh, thinking and like it's putting this request to the server and it was uh, quite fast. So this is our result that we can already click and download. Now we're going to import our map inside L3DT. So we are just going on file, import, and then since we exported uh, high field, we are just going to click on that one. Now what we need to do is resize it and bump it up a little bit in the resolution. So I'm going to operations, then high field, and then from there resize height field and we are typing 248 and we are going to leave the height ratio as it is because uh, we don't want to change the ratio and like stretch our image and we are clicking OK. Here it's asking us if we want to retain the same physical map size so we are clicking yes and it will take just a little bit to resize everything so that's it it's uh, done. So one note for uh, L3DT if you have the standard version, you will be able to go up to 2K, but if you have the pro version, then you will be able to export 8K maps and the level of details, of course, for your terrains are going to be much bigger and you're going to be able, especially if you're creating like some bigger portion of uh, like real world location, you will be able to have a lot more details. Now that we have everything resized, we just need to export everything so that Unreal can read it and we are going to file, export, export overlapped tiles. So for the tile size, it's something that you can calculate exactly how much uh, you want your terrain to be splitted. For example, if you have 1K by 1K and then we want everything to be on 16 tiles, we can just make it on 256 and this way it's going to be divided into 16 tiles. In my case, I'm going to also make it in 256, but it's 1K by a little bit uh, more in terms of width, as you can see that it's not a square texture. So it will create, I think, about 24, maybe 26 tiles. We are then clicking OK. And after that, we are going to go inside Unreal and import everything. Now we are ready to go inside Unreal. I just have an empty scene and I deleted the box uh, over here. So the first thing that we need to do is go to World Settings. And from there, we need to enable World Composition. Now we need to go to window and levels and from the drop down where it says levels we can click and import tiled landscape. Here from the button on the top select height map files we are just going to click and select all the files that we just exported 
And here you can see already that Unreal is telling us that it's gonna be 24 tiles. This is the size from the tiles and also what is the size of the terrain. If the size doesn't correspond correctly, we can go to Google Maps, measure the terrain that we just selected and after that use the scale values to make it to the correct size. This is something that you might want to do or might not want to do because you might just want some of the terrain data and after that to have your own size for your game but you also might want like completely real scale so then you can take these measurements and scale them to become the correct size in real life. Once we are ready we can just click import and now you can see that here we have all the levels imported so we are just going to select all of them, right click and load. Now that we already got everything imported and uh, this is how the terrain looks like. As there is quite a lot more that needs to be covered on this topic and also there is a lot of interest from all of you guys, I'll be creating few more parts about open world maps inside Unreal 4 and in the next one I want to show you how we can create terrains using World Machine and also I'm going to create one tutorial which is going to be for materials. In the material one I'm going to talk about optimization and I'm going to show you how to create an automatic material that is going to take the height into consideration and also the slope and it's going to apply automatically either grass or rocks on the sides. Thank you for joining me today, like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. See you next time!